Dude. Hey, what's up? What you reading? The Bible. You're reading the Bible? Yeah. Dude, why are you reading the Bible? For class? No, I just... Okay, so you're just reading the Bible. You're just sitting here in a coffee shop in the 21st century using state-of-the-art technology to read ancient myths for no reason whatsoever. Well... Tell me something. Are you one of those super religious people who thinks Jesus actually rose from the dead? Well, I do believe that... Do you also believe in the Easter Bunny? Santa Claus? Unicorns? Bigfoot? Ever been abducted by aliens? And do you buy into all those other ancient myths about dying and rising gods invented by primitive nomadic tribes back in the Bronze Age? No. Okay, so what's the difference between Jesus rising from the dead and all those other fairy tales? Here's the difference. My belief in the resurrection of Jesus is rational. It's based on historical facts. <laughs> facts? What facts? Well, first, Jesus died by crucifixion. Whoa, hold on. We don't even know if Jesus existed. Why should I believe your facts? Well, because the five facts I'm going to give you are backed by so much historical evidence that most professional critical scholars who study the subject accept them as true. That includes skeptical atheist scholars. Okay, so Jesus was a guy who actually existed and then got himself killed. So what? That's the first fact. Second, his disciples were convinced that he rose from the dead and appeared to them. Third, Paul, a sworn enemy of the early Christians, suddenly became a Christian. Fourth, Jesus' skeptical brother James also became a Christian. And fifth, the tomb where they put Jesus' body was empty. And those are well-established historical facts. Right, but you can't just leave it there. These facts demand an explanation. Otherwise, you've got a big hole in human history. Okay, here's an explanation. They all lied. It was a conspiracy, the most monumental prank ever perpetrated. His followers stole his corpse from the tomb and then started telling everybody he was alive. That's the conspiracy theory. The problem is it doesn't explain the facts. How do a few spineless fishermen, cringing in fear for their lives, subdue a bunch of well-armed, professional Roman guards, roll away a two-ton stone, steal a body, then hide it from a city swarming with people trying to find it? And why would they do it? The disciples had absolutely nothing to gain by lying about Jesus' resurrection. In fact, they were persecuted, and we have good historical evidence that five of them were martyred because of their claim that Jesus rose from the dead. Apparently, not a single one of them ever recanted. People don't willingly die for something they know isn't true. They were there. They knew whether it was true or not. All right, another theory. The disciples thought they saw Jesus alive after he died, but it was just wishful thinking. They were stressed and just kind of hallucinated. The hallucination theory also lacks explanatory power. 500 witnesses saw Jesus at the same time, and the disciples touched him. Psychologists have shown that hallucinations don't work like that, nor does this explain the empty tomb. Okay, look, maybe there's some other explanation, but the bottom line is dead people stay dead. Rising from the dead would be a supernatural event, a miracle, and science has proven that miracles don't happen. Oh, really? When did that happen? I don't know. I just kind of heard it somewhere. Science has not disproven miracles. In fact, that would be impossible. Why? Science deals exclusively with natural phenomena, physical matter and material processes, right? Uh, yeah. But a miracle, by definition, is not a natural phenomenon. It's supernatural. So? So a supernatural event would lie outside the boundaries of science. It's logically impossible for science to throw out any hypothesis that lies outside its boundaries. Why have I never heard this stuff before? I don't know. Maybe because it's scary? Scary? Yeah. As long as Jesus rising from the dead is just a fairy tale, like Santa Claus and unicorns, it doesn't threaten my little world. But if it's a fact, if he actually did rise from the dead, that's huge. It's a total game changer. And that's why it's so hard to think about it objectively. <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big whoa.